It's American Gladiators. Now, the funny thing... Well, doggone it. Dang it. Give me one sec. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try that. Sorry about that. Hanzo here, back with you. Okay. American Gladiators. Right where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Talking about American Gladiators. Now, this game is the Nintendo version of this game that came out, I think, what does it say down at the bottom of the screen? 91. Ugh, goodness gracious. That's so long ago, huh? So long ago. <coughs> but, um... So yeah, what we're gonna do here, we are going to uh, just get it going, you know. We're gonna chill. We're gonna have some fun, or at least try to, anyway. And I'll kind of talk about this game and how it plays. And I don't know everything, but you know, it's still fun. Um, let me do one more thing here. Okay, cool. Well. Let's get to it, yeah? Uh, we got five events, we gotta do them like many times over or something like that, so. <sighs> well, let's go. Alright, so I have a specific way of going about this in this game. Because these events are kinda difficult, but the wall is the most difficult one, followed by. I want to say the Human Cannonball, and then Joust, and then Assault, and then Powerball. Now you're probably wondering, why is Powerball the easy one? Because even if you, whatever points you score, you just move on to the next thing. I mean, that's easy if I've ever heard it, right? Like, so... That's how we're going to do it, right? We are going to be playing this in that order, and then we'll see what happens. If we have time, maybe we'll see what happens after it's all said and done. Okay, so let's start with the wall. And of course, you have a gladiator talking trash to you, because that's what they were there for. talking trash. Right. So Lace here says, don't underestimate the strength of Lace. Um, I'm not the smartest man in the world. I'm pretty intelligent. But I'm pretty sure Lace isn't really intended, I mean, like, the material isn't really intended for strength. Beauty, seductiveness, maybe. Strength? debatable. Alright, so this here is the wall. It's not as common or easy as the one you see on TV because you have the gladiators coming in from... Oh, she didn't get hit by that. Oh, no. Oh, she got me. Okay, I gotta take it more serious now. Gotta take it a little more serious. So, the catch about this game mode is in order for you to go up the wall, you have to alternate pushing the AB button because there's only two buttons for you to push. And you also have to hold a direction. So, this can make it a little bit more difficult than, like, in these sections right here. Later, bro. Where, if you come into contact with any of those solid parts, you will lose momentum. And then, they can... <laughs> they can be falling and still knock you off. Which I think is kind of cheap, in my opinion, but it's a Nintendo game, that's what you expect out of a Nintendo game. And these levels progressively get harder as time passes. So right here, this is going to be the tricky one, because she's right, right there. Need to hit her, yep, there we go, nice. And we're going to finish this level pretty, pretty smooth after that. Uh, later, bro. Nope. Come on. There we go. So when you get the power up like that, you can use the D-pad just to move in the direction you want to, instead of having to push buttons. Only problem is, you really 
you immediately go in that direction. Like, you can't really control how fast you can go. Alright, let's, uh, let's get to the job first. So yeah, you can't control how fast you go. You just literally go in that direction that you're pushing. And like those little, like those angled sections, you saw me kind of slow down a little bit. You kind of have to do that for accuracy. You can't just jam right through it because you might hit a gap. And if you hit a gap, you're going to fall off the wall. And up comes Nitro. We're going to give you a gladiator spanking. Um, sir, you're making me feel a little uncomfortable right now. I just hope you understand that. So, the Joust is a competition between the gladiator and the uh, player. And in this game mode, you have three attacks. You have the normal side attack like this, you got the overhead, sorta, and then you have the down low one right there. This game mode, oh, and you can you can block by holding back and B, which in this early levels, it just makes more sense to just continuously attack them. <laughs> And as they fall off, they hilariously, hilariously fall off the thing. Now, the catch about it is, you have to jump between the platforms and actually line up for the next bout. I don't know, and, and like, there, and one, there's always one attack that works the best for some reason. And I see, like, this one over top is working a lot better for some reason. I'm gonna go down low. Nope. Come on, dude. We're, we're, we're showing the internet something. I mean, it's obviously very important. I, I mean, it'd be better if you blocked a little bit. And you have to block a little longer than you expect, because... They have continuation. The hit detection is very wonky. And of course, they have that hilarious sound bite. Get it right in his face. There we go. Get, get off of here, sir. And I think you win three times and it's over? Nope. You gotta win four. Oh, I missed the power-up. So that one, if you get the power-up, you can instantly knock them off with one hit. That's why you don't... And like, all you have to do is time it, because you only get one swing, and if you don't hit him in that one swing, you lose the power up. So we're cruising. Two events down. And we're just cruising along. Uh, okay, let's go with, um... Let's go with Assault next. Laser gladiators never surrender. That's cool. So this one, if you remember in the if you've ever watched the show, you go through the stations and you try to hit the gladiator off his little pedestal or whatever with the target. And this one, you both have life bars. And you can take, I believe, you as the gladiator can take three hits? Or you as the player, and the gladiator can take three hits in the first level and they can gradually get stronger. I got, I got jukes, bro. Come on now. I got mad jukes, son. And just like in the TV show, if you... Let me, let me put my star around. Okay. Come on. Nailed him. And there's like a finish line if you actually go to the end and don't knock him down. So in case you can't do that, you can just make it to the end. Gemini, shout outs. Get ready for the ultimate competition. Okay, these platforms look familiar. So now you have to jump up and grab this thing and then time your strike to send him hilariously flying off the platform. There are times where they're slightly off centered, and the height is very important because if you jump too high, like this, I'm gonna have a real hard time hitting this dude. Yeah. And then they'll just bounce you right off. There we go. Okay, this one is the one right here. Oh, 
Okay, and there's also a power-up in this game as on this game mode as well, where you <clears throat> can adjust your grip if you grab it. So instead of being stuck like that, you can just adjust what you're doing. And of course, being at the bottom of the chain is always the best, but you have, still have to time it. So up comes Powerball. And gold is there. Train hard, win easy. Hmm. Okay. So quite literally, this is the easiest game mode because, again, they just let you go. So if you don't even do anything here, like you don't even score any points here, you'll progress on to the next thing. But it is important to actually try right here because it's easy points. Like, if you get all five buckets, instead of getting, like, more points, you get a one-up. Which, as you can tell from earlier on, it's super important for you to do that. I know this green is just killing my eyeballs right now. Get off me, sir. Sir? No. No. I should have went for the center one, but that's alright, though. And, of course, they have to knock you around, like, because they're... They're tough guys, these ones. Oh, that's whack. I had that one. So then we move on to the next level. We gain points. And we gain some extra lives. And we're gonna do all of the...